All right, y'all, TCV, the country boy, coming back at you from Big D. As y'all know, my boss man done gave me the green light. He's like, go ahead, keep doing your videos. So I'm like, cool, I'm going to do that. And I want to let y'all know that if y'all personally know somebody who wants to get rid of a house that don't want to mess with it anymore, anywhere in the U.S., let me know. I'm also supposed to let y'all know that all these songs that I'm playing are not owned by me, are not copyrighted by me. I am only here to help promote this song and let y'all know that they are badass and y'all need to go and check them out. And if y'all want to do so, bam, this is a badass song. Go buy it. So that's what I'm here to do. If it's not badass, I'm not going to promote it. First of all, you ain't never going to see it. So everything that I do is going to be cool in one respect or another. So copyright people that own them. Don't flag me, man. Don't strike me. Don't do all that stuff, man. I'm doing it to promote songs and to people that don't know this stuff, man. Damn. Give me a break, man. Leave me alone. All right. Is that good enough for y'all? All right. Let's go on to some stuff. All right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. TCB, the country boy. Coming back from Big D. I got another proof song. Big proof. Um, this is supposedly is like one of his breakout songs that started his whole career and got him going. It's called Places I've Been. Um, haven't heard it off the uh, acid testing album back in the day. Pretty cool, man. I like the... Uh, looks like Eminem also had him. Uh, what's this? Uh, Eminem World something on there. I don't know. I guess, uh, obviously, Eminem was backing him, so to speak. Um, let's check it out. Places I've been. Street level, just so y'all can hear something on the streets. Listen, I seen Pot get murdered. I'm big the same. Pun losing life, y'all, and Scott Rock get slain. I'm saying the game of life is balanced by death. Make money with a few, then I challenge the rest. Over in London with Westwood, sipping absence with absolute beginners in Germany getting blasted. Master, right for Mushi, never say but the sherm. Sober in Amsterdam, side. Spit a word, get a word to the wise. My eyes to see Big Ben, just to come back home strong, ready to leave again. Believing in breathing. Teaching y'all the world is small, the world is all but real shit Now give a call, my dog Ken in Oslo Me and Swift eyes grow, he sniff blow No thanks, nigga, pass the dro Life's like a fashion show, so walk strong cause they watching Here's my passport, check out where your block's been You ain't been all the places I've been Eyes ain't seen all the things I've seen Through these verses, feel what I mean Me and my rap life and yo, so much drama that y'all don't see I can't let it take over me I'm just trying to live comfortably Me and my rap life uh, yo. Sweetest girls are sweet But can't compete with that hood rat chick right down the street You, know? you ever seen a cop with M16 walking the beat? Or a Nazi on TV just cocking his heat? What about Switzerland red lights where the head's tight? Right. On orbits where the people are just scared right? Yeah. Maybe you heard but I seen the nuclear reactor Proof got the truth that you really after On the Autobahn before Columbine I thought of mine Maybe I should jump across this fucking borderline I seen Africans in Holland peddling dope To answer your question did I find a ghetto was no I came to settle the scope We ain't never seen go They living in the aftermath whether they rich or poor Build this bomb Troops out there with AKs I started to feel sorry Came home to the world trade yeah. You ain't been all the places I've been Eyes ain't seen all the things I see. Through these verses, feel what I mean. Me and my rap life. Rap life. Hey, yo, so much drama that y'all don't see. I can't let it take over me. I'm just trying to live comfortably. Me and my rap life. Uh, there ain't a problem unless you got them bombs who shot them, who sang, sign them, rock bottom, heavy war, ready for war, we taught them, caught them colder than autumn, proof of never insult them, rhyme by rhyme, I fought them, I tell them all, you hypocrites pointing fingers, got the world thinking American, CNN and Jerry Springer, I've been around the world and the same all over, right, Gaddafi, Sun Tzu, Reagan, Hitler, Joan of Arc, Napoleon, men are like Hannibal, you know what I'm saying, it's the same cycle. Y'all just divide the people, right? Right? Yo, same yo, old. you ain't been all the places I've been. Eyes ain't seen all the, the things I've seen. Do these to verses for what I mean. Me and my rap life. Japan, yo, so the much UK, drama that y'all don't see. I can't let it take over me. I'm just trying to live comfortably. Me and my rap life. Yo, so much drama that y'all don't see. I can't let it take over me. I'm just trying to live comfortably.
regular people have been here. Yeah, it is life crazy, motherfucker. No matter where you go, it's the same all over. You know what I'm saying? Go about the motherfucking hood, dog. Right? Tell us about that hood, nigga. Come on. Let's go. On the midnight train, we catch a motherfucking train to Japan right now, nigga. Get your ass up. The plane, the train is taking off now. All aboard. Let's go to Japan. Wow, that was very, very good, man. You know, and I liked, he went a totally different way with it, man. He's basically talking about the rap game and all the things that he's seen and different countries, different places, from Africa to you name it. And he's saying, man, y'all don't see what I see as far as all the drama involved and all that other stuff. He's like, man, I just want to live a comfortable life. And, you know, by being in this rap game and, you know what? I'm sure success is not easy. I mean, all the chicks that he deals with that are chasing after him for his fame and for his money and all this other stuff. And he's just trying to keep a, a solid head on his shoulders. And then, you know what? He's I'm sure he's also talking about all the stuff that, you know, he's real tight with Eminem. So he gets to see a lot of the beef and a lot of the stuff that was put at Eminem. Um, being his one of his best friends, if not his best friend, um, that was unprovoked, man. And he gets to get involved or, or kind of gets involved and sees what it's like from that perspective. I mean, he on one level is a star, but then his buddy and his best friend is like a superstar. I mean, whether it's because he's white and other people are buying his CDs. and But, you know, you got to understand Eminem, Eminem took rap mainstream, you know, he opened it up to all these middle class white kids, you know, and they, even everybody admits that. Now, why Benzino got pissed off about that and got jealous, we don't know, but he was right in the middle with D12 and all that beef and all that other scrap. So, wow. But you know what? The cool thing about it, even though it sucked that he passed away and all this other stuff, you know, he had his friends back, man, no matter what. And they knew each other before they was rich. They knew each other before they was powerful. And I think, like I said it before, I even think if it was the other way around and and he was the one that became the superstar, I guarantee you he probably would have brought Eminem up and, and, and gave him a leg up just like Eminem gave him. So I believe that. Anyway, all right, I'll see y'all later. Check this out, guys. My boss man said that we could actually give you a thousand dollars, and this is how. All right, y'all, TCB the country boy. I want to give y'all a little update real quick. Um, you know, I've been posting some stuff at the end of these things, and I let you guys know that I did real estate. And man, you guys really came up strong, man. So strong, I got to make some changes because so many people have sent me information. Um, as far as vacant properties in their neighborhood. It's just way too much stuff, man. Dang, I can't even keep up. But So my boss man said, look, here, we got to make a change, but I'm going to make it better. So here's the deal. Anywhere in the United States, if you guys know of somebody who has a property that they want to get rid of, it's got to be a single family, regular house um, in a decent livable neighborhood, and it's a basically a decent conditioned property it can't have no big old hole in the roof and you know water flying in and and mold damage everywhere or a burned out kind of a thing and it's got to be a decent or almost in decent livable condition and if we end up buying that house i tell you what we'll do we'll give you a thousand dollars just for giving us the hookup if we buy it that's it man simple as that thousand dollars in your pocket man damn that's it anywhere in the continental u.s so 
that's the deal, man. I appreciate y'all. Man, we got so many people that sent me over houses. I couldn't even keep up, man. Damn. Be careful what you wish for because sometimes it will come in the form of a tidal wave. And that's what happened, y'all. So there we go, man. I appreciate y'all so much. Let's keep this bad boy going. All right, y'all. I'm going to give you my email address real quick, which is also on the about page. So if y'all know of any houses or y'all have family members that have houses or hell, if you've got houses, you can deal with me, man. We'll hook it up, man. All right. So let's get on to this fun stuff. Then we can get, we can do some business and some fun at the same time. So there you go, y'all. I appreciate it.